So what you'll need for this project is a piece of cardboard. This one's roughly three and a half inches by six and a half inches. You'll need some straws, some bamboo barbecue skewers, some plastic bottle caps, a nine inch balloon, and a small rubber band. And I found that these bracelet bands work perfectly for this. Our first step is gonna be to trim the straws so that they're a little bit wider than our piece of cardboard. When you cut them, make sure you have a nice sharp pair of scissors and you want a nice clean cut that's square to the edge. So you can see now that I have it a little bit longer than both sides of the cardboard. So I want to duplicate that on the next straw. Now we take our bamboo skewers and I've already cut these down a little bit. They usually come longer than this. I found a wire cutter works well to cut the edges on these and I actually took a bunch of these and cut them on the bandsaw to get a nice clean cut. So I want them to be a little bit longer, as you can see, than the straw. The reason for that is we're going to put the caps on the bamboo skewer. So for my caps, what I need to do is drill a hole in the center. It helps if you have a cap that already has an indentation marking the center for you. So to drill my holes, I'm going to use a 7 64th inch bit. I'm going to make sure I have something down on my work surface that I can drill into that it doesn't matter. Put it on that center mark of the cap. And I'm going to drill my hole. The next step is I'm going to place that end of the skewer in there. Now I want a tight fit. You could hear it pop in place there. The reason for that is this is going to go into the straw. This should spin nice and smoothly together. The axle and the wheel can now spin inside of the straw nice and smoothly. Be extra careful when you're putting on this cap with the sharpened point here. It may be better to cut off that sharpened point. When I'm saying be careful, what I mean is when you put it on there, make sure you're not pushing that point towards your palm. Make sure you're carefully twisting it on there, something like that. Put the straw on the axle and then carefully work this on to the axle. Now you're going to want to make sure that you back them off a little bit. You want a little bit of room. You want this to be able to move back and forth just, just a little bit so that it's able to spin nice and smoothly when you turn it. You should see both wheels spinning together and that center axle spinning. Now we're ready to mount the axles onto the body of our car. You can prop up the car with a block of wood or in this case I'm using a box of matches. I'm going to put the body of the car, elevate it like this, and now it's important when we tape these down, we're just going to use some scotch tape to do this. When we tape them down, you got to make sure that these axles, the plastic straw axles, are parallel with each other. If you have it at a slight angle, either of them, the vehicle will turn and you want the vehicle to go straight. So you're going to make sure that they're parallel. It may help to use a ruler and draw a, a line that's 90 degrees to the edge of the piece of cardboard. In this case, I'm just going to eye it up and I'm just going to use two pieces of tape to hold this down. Again, it's important that you have the straw away from the sides of the cardboard. There's enough straw on each side so that my wheels don't rub and touch the body of the car. Now that I have the front done, I'll tape on the back. Okay, so there we have it. It's nice and parallel now. Test it out and make sure it rolls nice and smoothly. Very little friction, as you can see. Okay, now it's time to attach the straw to the balloon. And the best way I found to do this was to use one of these little blue rubber bands for the bracelets. And I'm going to wrap it around. I have part of the straw in there. About an inch of the straw is inside of the balloon. And I'm just going to make sure I twist this several times until it's tight, about four or five times if you can, and that should be enough to make an airtight seal now on the balloon. Now I highly recommend that you don't blow this balloon up with your mouth because what happens is you'll get saliva building up in the balloon and that will actually slow down your car and make it not go as far each time. It makes it more inconsistent. So I recommend you get a balloon pump like this and then you'll be able to pump up this balloon a lot easier with that balloon pump. Okay, so now to attach the balloon to the car, again, we're just gonna use some scotch tape and we're gonna make sure that it's straight. You may have to experiment with how far to put this balloon. You want the balloon to be supported. So it's gonna end up looking something like this. Let's test it out and see how it does.